Okay, guys, check this out. Look what I got. Show. Okay. Unless it's a toy, and I got excited, and I paid ten bucks. Actually, I think it was on sale, but who cares? I would have paid ten dollars. Now, at first sight, you see like a little luggage with like dinosaur parts and stuff, but I see. And now you guys know I don't like to. Well, I don't know if you know, but I think if you've been around, you kind of notice I don't mm, buy so much like craft, not craft, what is it called? Um, Like ephemera and stuff like that. I kind of like, like to, you know, like if I do use ephemera, it has to be like a real ephemera or like I don't know it has to be personalized in some way no don't get me wrong I do get like I got a, a, a Alibaba Express from time and stuff but it's just so hard for me to use them I don't know how to use it that's why I don't buy it plus I do like the the personal touch a ephemera that you make gives to your journals anyways look at this okay my son noticed it I didn't it's a button it's a lock so Join me, let's play together. Look at me. It's three and up, right? I am three and up. Look at this. Oh, okay. Now, if you've been here maybe about a month ago, no, wait a minute. Ugh, I'm really bad with dates. Uh, my husband laughs at me all the time. Um, I think it was like two months ago. I made a dinosaur book. But look at this. Now, I loved, loved it because it has so much potential. I feel like I can grab a little sculpting knife and a sculpting tool and kind of like, although the parts are really well casted, look, there is no like residue or anything like that. What I could do is like with a knife, put the detail. Sorry about the kids. I got to they're in the pool and they're being loud. But um, I want to put like details. I'm going to re, I'm going to assemble it and I want to repaint it. Um, I just don't want it to look like plastic or a toy. I want it to look like, like a, a real thing you picked up and then actually repaint this and put a little gla grass or moss and um yeah also okay that's that's i'll show you guys at the end of the video anyways this video is sponsored by my patreons <laughs> thank you guys for uh i know it's not many of you guys but it does help like you know like it's able to help buy things like this without me you know feeling guilty or like hurting the pocket um so thank you guys but anyways this is a case and i want to build a book that goes in here <laughs> yep i said it and then since it locks wait there you go since it locks you can really carry it look like awesome i feel like i could put more texture more and I can repaint all of it. It has a handle. Oh my gosh, I just love this thing. Maybe I could put some little rings and put a strap on it. And then, uh, no, maybe not. Because I was thinking of cut, taking these off, but they're like in there. Let's see how in there are they. Well, maybe I can pop them out. I don't know. We'll see no i don't know but it'd be cool if i put like a leather strap like a belt right anyway so uh let's repaint this and let's give it a new life let's make it look real it's just, oh my god this is so perfect i love 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 it and i love dinosaurs so this is perfect let's paint it So 
So I've done sanding and uh, scraping everywhere. Hopefully it comes out good. If not, I can just keep on doing it. Well, even though the paint is there, you can always reapply stain or whatever. And it's fun to discover new things. But this is a journal I was talking about. There is the mosquito in there. Um, the video will show you how I made that, I think. Oh, anyway, so this is the journal. This is the back. Um, this. But what I wanted to show you, just a little reminder. What I really wanted to show you is this. Well, I guess you could see it on the side. I can take it off. Okay, so I made this little, what is it called? Like, little board. Look how it got all. Because your friend here, your homegirl here, forgot to flatten it while it was getting dried. So, when it dried, it got all. Well, I could maybe fix it if I wet it. Reactivate those fibers. And then do that. And then heat it up. But anyways, this is attached Actually, it's glued down, but I made it so it looks like it's attached by now. So. <clears throat> but this is kind of the effect I'm going for. Ugh, shadows everywhere. I still need to work on my setup. Anyway, so that's what I'm going for with this. Um, maybe a tiny bit lighter. Uh, oh, my son made this for me. Oh, I was talking to you earlier about the drama I bought from my son, but... Sorry, the camera keeps on moving. The whole thing why I was talking about is because I could have done grab that Dremel and done, done the teeth, but <clears throat> they do this. Gross. Just kidding. Um. Well, you know, if they would have been like a little bit more solid, I could have like shaped them. But because if I cut the edges off, now it's gonna look like a flat piece of paper. It's not gonna look nice. So. And, you know, they don't look that bad. But, um, but yeah, I have that. So, I'm going to go for this kind of tone. To start, I'm going to use this color, which is... Beach Comer Beach. So, I think this is the one. I'm trying to... I know I'm trying to think, but anyways, so I'm gonna kind of do a gesso so that uh, it's easier to, it's like a primer kind of thing. So I'm gonna use this with um, glue and I'm gonna make a mixture of that and apply it to this and apply it to this. Okay, alrighty then. This is the experiment or what I'm gonna do to that. Okay, so to get that effect, let me get that over there. To get this effect, I'm going to first do a wash of brown. So um, I have my little, you guys know, you've been around, you know, I rarely, hardly ever use water water. I mostly just use coffee water. So just about half and half of, of uh, paint and half of um, coffee water. We'll just call it water because you guys can do water, I guess. I just, I mean, even though like the brown, I mean, get your handy napkin or a towel ready. I feel like, um, like it won't give you that much of a color difference around the coffee. But I feel like it gives you something else. And I don't know how to explain it. And it might all just be up in here. If you don't have one of these, like, messed up brushes, you need to do one. Because, bro, they give you the best effects ever. Let's open there. And now, um... I feel like it's, like I can still feel the roughness even though I painted it. And I only did one coat. So because it's such a similar color, I didn't need to have like a full complete coverage of color. 
So some areas you're able to see a little bit of that gray white and I'm okay with it because at the end of the day I'm pursuing multi-dimensional color feel to it okay so you do that then before it completely dries you go in there and you wipe it off now not so hard because remember you have that other color but I did put glue on the color and I did sand it so it might not come out as much but you still want to be careful I didn't use glue with paint on that one because it's not going to be handled as much and yeah on this one I am planning to use a finish varnish afterward okay so my next idea sort of to make a book that goes in that so well a few things but um the first thing that i want to do is i want to do kind of this but without the wood back so i would just anyways follow along you guys know i'm all over the place um so i want to make a footstep sort of like this that i'm working on i'm not done with this so don't judge me but um you see how like this like left a footprint so i'm gonna do that like if somebody came and cut out around here and did a footprint so that's next and to do that i'm going to use sculpey again uh i found when i was moving um a black old black one so maybe maybe i'll use that and then um see how that goes okay so because that thing was really bad it's really really old i think it must be years old it wasn't like attaching it was crumbling i don't know if there's a fix to it um i think if you put like the sculpey glue and then you like need it then you could like get it back to life but i had time i didn't have no time for that and i i had the glue sculpey so i thought i'd just use that for the video for time's sake so what I did, I did end up using it on the surface of it. So it looks like um, it's like stone or part of the process. But um, they do bake the same time. I checked both times and I checked um, that it was the same um, temperature and it was the same time to um, cure. So I did take advantage of that and then I left it and I used them as stone, like little stones on it. Now I'm going to carve on here a footprint. But um, because I didn't want to like carve the footprint and then put these rocks, I put the rocks first so that they don't misshape and when I go carve it in. Okay, so um, while my hands or my footprint for the book um, bakes, I need to, I want to finish this. To give it this brownish sepia tone, I'm going to use... Uh, transparent yellow iron oxide so same process I okay so I just dab it a little bit on the edges kind of um, dry brush everything here too So before moving forward, um, I went ahead and uh, dabbed a little bit of brown. I forgot to tell you this, but I, I mean, I went back after I did the beige or the off-white, then we did the brown wash. I went back with my finger and I like did the highlights of it. And, um, and I loved how it came out, right? And then after that, well, uh, I just told you that we do this, right? 
but you know right now i was painting the this side and i turned to this side to continue painting it and i'm like wait a minute it looks super nice right because i'm done with this side but now i have i'm conflicted because i love this side but then i love this side <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to go on a walk or something to think about what I'm going to do. Or, you know, crazy people do both sides. Okay, so this is my cover. And I thought I would um, paint it. I bought this for $1.99 at Blake's. It's an art store here in the U.S. Well, I don't know if it's in the whole U.S. or just in California. But anyways, Blake's. Uh... It says here that it's a dimensional moss effect. So I'm gonna try it, but not because of the color, cause look, it looks very brown, I mean green, but because I'm thinking of dimming it down. Uh, I just want the texture. You know what I feel like? I want it to look like, like velvets. I don't know, just go along with me see where this takes us I've been wanting to use this and I think it's too mossy I think it's the name is in the effect but I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna bring it down with some uh, browns and we'll see where that goes okay guys yes <laughs> after many things going on in my head this is what it came out to so I did this i did a coat of this pewter gray and then i did a wash of black um yeah i feel like i really wanted it to be like cousins to this one so you know not similar not the same but cousins so like same color you know different. i don't know you know what i mean so it feels like they can go together if I put them together because they're the same theme. But the other footprint press that I had looked horrible compared to this. So I put moss. Yes, people. I did this. So I am about to, before I do this, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I am going to do the inside. So. I have printed a, what well, I found on the internet, what looks to be a very old um, newspaper print of like talking about dinosaurs and stuff like that. And I've uh, printed it in black and white. Then I sprayed it with coffee water. That's pretty much all I did. So, um, oh, and I ripped this page, this side off. I'm going to, but because it's not the full page, um, what I did is I'm, I painted half of it, I mean, till there, so I can make a pocket. Okay, so I'm preparing the paper for the journal, and I'll show you what, what kind of binding I'm going to do right now. But because I'm working, um, I was a little, what is it called, unpatient, and... I forgot I didn't have any, um, what is it called? Brown or tanned or coffee dyed paper. I went ahead and uh, went and made some, but um, it's still wet. So me handling it and trying to prepare it, um, it's ripping apart. But then, you know, in the sizing, I ripped some of that paper off uh because these are eight by ten so i gotta rip off a little bit off but because i will i'm gonna take advantage of that needing to do that i'm going to um what's it called i'm going to rip it on both sides a little bit so <clears throat> i'm stuck with a bunch not a stuck but so then now i have a bunch of these little strips and then i have at the same time a bunch of these broken or ripped pieces of paper. So I'm gonna use them uh, to mend these little pieces of paper 
that I've been ripping them off. See, look how pretty that looks. That looks so crazy pretty. Anywho, see how it's kind of like still moist. So I have a bunch of these strips right here. And I mean, I could purposely rip them and then do that. But I think they're plenty ripped so that I can do that. And you know, I don't want them to look all the same. Anyways, for binding purposes, I have, remember my rust paper? Um, if you don't remember, I will link the video down below, but this is actual rust water paper that I, is it happily, maybe happily spilled over my backyard. And then when I saw the mess, I was like, Oh my gosh, give me paper, quick, stat. So, um, pretty much that's what I did. And so, I have a lot of it. And um, I grabbed this coffee dyed paper and I grabbed some of that rust paper and I'm making a hole on the corner, upper, what is it called? I'm really bad at my left and my right, but my upper left-hand side. Um, you can't really see it on this one. You can kind of see it on this one. But anyway, so what I did is I went ahead and uh, what I would do is sh 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 spray one and then put it down. And I did this for all of these because uh, I feel like I was gonna do it anyway, so might as well do it on all of them and then just wait it for the for them to dry equally. But oh look, this one's more. I can't probably use that one. So they're ready to go. So I bought these, I think it's a Walmart packet, and I just coffee stained all of them. Sorry if you guys keep on hearing that oh, 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 noise. My daughter's puppy is here and she's playing with my dog, Faith. And so they're both husky, so they're very like talking, talkative, and musical, and I don't know the kinds of noises they make. So if you hear that, and then they snore when they sleep, both of them snore. So if you hear like heavy breathing or like straight out snoring, <laughs> it's the dog. My dog's pretty big, so and if you own a big dog, you know how they go. They snore like a full-size man, truck trucker man, man, and um, yeah, she and she likes to always be by my feet and always be around me. So, you know, since she likes to be by my feet, guess what the other one likes to do now? So now I every time I have to get up, I have to shush both dogs because I have one on my right hand side. And one on my left side and if I move I'm gonna squeeze either ear or foot and so it's like ugh. but I love it I wouldn't I wouldn't live anywhere anyway else dogs are um have always been a part of my life and I feel like I hope my dog lasts a long time so she gets fed really good she gets fed plus she won't eat crackers all the dog food she only eats chicken so i have to feed her chicken but she won't eat the vegetables but if you give her a cookie or chocolate well i don't give her chocolate because she gets a tummy ache but believe me she asks me for it even though she already knows she's gonna get the tummy ache she still asks me for the cookie and i mean the chocolate i mean and it's hard like you know as a mom you want to give your babies everything you know and but dogs are just Chocolate is really, really, really bad for dogs. But she still asks me for it. And she asked me when I make my peanut butter sandwiches. She asked me for the peanut butter spoon. And she sees me ice cream. But God willing, she sees me with the carrot. Because she literally, like, walks away so fast. Anyways, you guys heard me ranting through this whole time. Maybe I'll skip this. Maybe you guys won't hear it. But, man... I can rant. That's why. I, that's why I do voice over. Cause if you guys have to sit through this all the time, I feel like 
I'd have no subscribers. <laughs> That's why I don't do like lives or like live not live recording but like like videos like this where I'm talking because I I I don't have a a stop sensor kind of thing so I go on and on and on. Anywho, you guys get the idea, right? Like this. Now I can get them on the top or get them on the bottom. I feel like I'm going to do the bottom. Or you can do like one and one or something. I don't know, something like that. Anyways, I think this is the easiest and funnest way to bind a journal. Now, hear me out. Okay, so the book is ready, right? Uh, the pocket is here. I ended up putting a piece of uh, craft cardstock or craft paper. Actually, it's like it's a piece of it's a box. See, you guys can see the folding here. It's like I always save my packaging. But um, there's my newspaper print. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an eyelid <sighs> okay so I'm grabbing one of these but wait let me measure that it goes through yep it goes through and since it's going to be more visible from the outside <coughs> excuse me could you let me know if like the shaking bothers you guys just because you know what i'm really concerned about it and it's like really distracting for me uh when i'm building my building i mean recording the video if it really distracts you let me know so that i work on it a lot like i can really put a lot of time into it because at this point i'm just trying to get you guys content and get all you know, it, it, when I get an idea in my head, I have to get it out. Otherwise, it just like, not hunts me, but that's all I'm thinking about. And I don't, sometimes I don't like it because, like, I don't appreciate time with the family and stuff. So for me, it's like I have to get it out of my system. Okay, so that's where it's going to sit, right there. So I'm going to mark it. Let's see. Bruh, I just moved it. Can make sure it closes right. It's even, but I'm making it, I'm putting it more towards the top so you can see a little bit of that paper on the bottom. And so I'm doing that. Okay. There's that. So there's my dots. So then, you do this doohickey. Let's see. Okay. I think one of the next things that I'm gonna buy from the, from when I get the money from my um my patrons i want to buy one of those big croc crocus was it crocodile just because i'm always like struggling to what the barnacle how did we mess this up okay it, i can i guess i can just remove it mama can you hand me a no. yes my love right now Okay, I'm recording. Can I can I take care of it in a second? Let me get this idea down and then we'll go over there, okay? Okay, let me take it out. And do it back again. Yes. Let me get the... Okay, let me get another one. And so let me do this again. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, there we go. I'm 
I'm almost done. So there we go. I should have centered it, I think, but I don't mind. I don't mind. If, if anything, you could do like two holes. I think it will be cute too. But that's where it marked, and that's where I'm sticking to. And then I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this and this. Okay, so I have a trick because you see how that is flying off. The trick to this is that. Oh, where are my pliers? Okay, hold on. Okay. You grab your pliers and right here, <coughs> twist it down like this. Right here, you twist it down like this. And so now, it kind of more flat. See that? Anyway, so. Then, remember this is a little damp, so. Bear with it, it's, it doesn't want to misbehave on purpose. There you go. That's my notebook. So now it's time to attach. Oh, stop it, kids. Stop, guys. Go away. So I want to attach this here. But see, like I see it on the screen, on the green. I don't know. I still would like to do this. Like, imagine this on here. I need to fix this. You know how you can fix this? You wet it. You wet it, and then you clamp it down and leave it there for, like, days. That's that's how it happened in the beginning because I used to work glue that made it moistened. Anyways, see how it kind of, this, this was my vision for it but I don't want to like 100% repeat stuff although let me think on it I'll get back to you okay guys so call me crazy I've decided to keep both sides yay so I will spray it so that it's set Although I wouldn't mind like paint scraping off here and there, just I don't know. I feel like it it adds to it. I grabbed three different. Let me see if you can see it this way. Sorry, three different kinds of leather, and I just like haphazardly wrap this thing up, and this is my handle. And yeah, right. Okay. Can you guys see the mess that's left behind? Yep, that's what that is. Anyway, so we open this up. And now I feel like, you guys know, I always go back to my projects. And I'm not 100% done on this. I want to paint the inside. But I'm short on time and I want to show you. A meager beaver. So you guys went with me through the road of colors on this. And I feel like it kind of looks good together, don't you think? So I did a simple note <clears throat> on it. I did the nose newspaper. I may I have a lot of dried up leaves that I collect from my plants. And then this is African mask. It is from a plant that is named African mask, like a common name. It's a alocasia. I don't remember, but it is an African mask. And I put a date, 1894. Yes, remember, this is how the notebook opens. And it's cool because, you know, you can replace that and put other papers or just flip through. I really enjoyed it. I think it's just so simple and so awesome. And then I have the back um 
envelope. So now what I did is I put a piece of page paper, like the little tears of the book that's like up here, and I cut it so it looks like a masking tape. I glued it and I uh, cut it open. So in here I put the, the assembling thing for the dinosaur. And that's that. And that goes here and that sits here. And then this goes here. And then I will put my maker's label. I don't know where, but you know what? You guys wanna do it with me? Let's do it. I think I'm gonna put it right here. <sighs> so hot today here. There's a heat wave currently where I'm at. And it's driving me insane. I'm gonna put it right there. What do you guys think? Okay. And then you guys might be wondering, what did I do to the paw? Okay, look at this mysterious package. It's been torn and it has been mended by masking tape. And you open it. Wait. And then you open it. Let's do that again. The effect. And then I collect it by. And I did the same thing with the paper. Now let me show you how I did it. Still a little wet. I did just finish it. There. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. I folded the the tips of it and I did that. Now it looks like a real specimen, doesn't it? And then I put the Tyrannosaurus, the year, I put a tape, I put the cell number. And then, let's see. Whoa, put that back. Just like that. Something like this. All right? And then we'll put it back together. Goes back like that. Goes back like that. And then. Oops, sorry. Keep on banging the camera. And then, wait, is it? There we go. And then we we'll lock it, and then, ta da! Isn't it awesome? Well, I want to thank you guys again for coming and visiting my channel. I feel like when I'm making the videos, I feel that you guys are here and present and you know, we're doing things together as a community of artists in whatever it is media you work with. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your thumbs up. They really um, encourage me to continue on this journey, to take time away from, you know, other things that I could be doing to share my craft with you guys. Thank you so much uh, for, again, for visiting my channel. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, um, and you'd like to subscribe, uh, I would have a lot of more of these crazy videos coming up. Thank you so much. Until next time, stay safe. Bye.